if somebody's needing to do multiple ablations on you, that's telling me they're not doing a complex enough ablation for your stage of atrial fibrillation. But in general, you have to realize that when people do an ablation, and this is irregardless of the energy source, all right? It doesn't matter whether you're using radio frequency to cauterize the AFib cells, or you're using cryoablation to freeze the AFib cells, or you're using pulse-filled ablation, the newest technology to create electromagnetic fields and pulses of electricity to denature or kill the cells without freezing or cauterizing. In a sense, it doesn't really matter. When you do destroy these cells, first off, obviously, you have to see, is the doctor who's doing my procedure doing a complex enough ablation to actually get rid of all of my AFib cells, irregardless of the energy source. Because remember, putting out atrial fibrillation is not as simple as, oh, I have some AFib cells that are waking up, so they just go up there with their little catheters, wave a magic wand, and all the cells just magically die off, and either we get it all or we don't. It's not all or nothing, and it's not as simple as just waving a magic wand and having them all die off. No, it's more like a forest fire. The bigger the forest fire, the more walls you have these AFib cells on, the more complex a lesion set the person who's doing the procedure needs to to do to be able to get rid of your entire forest fire. And if you have, say, an 80% very progressed forest fire and somebody just gets rid of 20% of it, you could be left with 60%, in which case you're probably gonna need more procedures. But if they have the skill to get rid of all 80%, which not a lot of doctors have, then you may only need one procedure. So there is a wide variation between the success rates in ablation because it's not one size fits all and it's not like everyone's at the same stage. It really is how big is your forest fire and then what's the lesion set or how complex the procedure is is the doctor doing.